morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Monday, February 4th, 2013. The international space insurance market is braced for a $400 million loss as a result of that Intelsat satellite that was lost from a uh, launch at a Russian launch facility on Friday morning. According to industry sources, the uh, space insurance underwriters are now going to start 2013 in the red. Satellite insurance rates have been low for the past several years, in part because most of the recent launch failures have been carrying government satellites, which don't carry insurance. This particular one, the Sea Launch, which was uh, primarily owned by Intelsat, of course, was a private launch. A French-owned oil tanker went missing off the Ivory Coast. It's believed now to have been hijacked by pirates who are holding the 17 sailors on board as hostages. The tanker was registered, registered in Luxembourg. The hijacking likely took place last night. This is according to the International Maritime Bureau. Um, the uh, International Maritime Bureau said that most likely what will happen is that the ship will be towed into Nigeria where the fuel will be siphoned off valuables will be stolen from the crew and then the uh, ship will be set free. We cannot find the name of the ship. It does not seem to be reported anywhere. On January 30th, the spate of tornadoes went through Georgia, apparently causing about $75 million in damage. Uh, the plant that was hit the most extensively is a subsidiary of a U.S. steel plant in Adairsville that specializes in steel pressing, painting, and laser cutting suffered extensive damage uh, to that facility. The cause of the deadly explosion at the headquarters of the Mexican national oil company Pemex that killed 33 people still remains unknown. The blast erupted amid a debate um, by the uh, president and the Mexican Congress to modernize Pemex and attract more outside investments to the old state monopoly. As a result, there is some suspicion that it might have been a terrorist attack the Mexican Attorney General said that we are determined to find the truth in this incident wherever it is, whether it's carelessness, an accident, or whether in fact it was an attack. Footage has emerged of panicked workers hanging on for their lives as their $40 million offshore gas platform sank below stormy waters in the Persian Gulf. Uh, in the video, a group of people can be seen clambering across a giant Iranian-owned gas structure trying to escape it as it vanishes below the waves. The Iranians have called on foreign aid to help pull the 1,300 metric ton platform from the seabed. State-owned PARS Oil and Gas Limited, which was installing the platform when it sank, is investigating what happened. Uh, here's an interesting story. The nightclub fire in Brazil uh, last week that killed 235 people may remind American insurers to ask more questions when underwriting nightclubs. This is according to an executive at Dudson Insurance Brokerage in Texas, which specializes in such coverage. The fire in Santa Maria, a college town in Brazil, was similar to the Station nightclub fire in Rhode Island, which killed 100 people. In both cases, it was uh, more than one mistake that led to the tragedy, but uh, the Station fire and the Brazil fire had one thing in common, uh, pyrotechnics flammable materials in the ceiling or walls and limited or locked exits while fireworks were being shot off inside the building. According to uh, Mr. Chippendale, after Rhode Island, everyone was asking more questions. It's been 10 years since Rhode Island and maybe it faded from people's memories. This may bring it back onto their radar screens. He notes that uh, property claims for the uh, building, the sound equipment and musical instruments can be uh, extensive, but are dwarfed by the liability claims stemming from the fatal fires. Lawsuits are likely to name everyone from the manufacturer of the soundproofing material and the person who installed it to the security company working in the events, the nightclub owners and the band itself. Chippendale said even a beer company with its name on the napkins can get sued. Let's hope they do, in fact, ask those questions. The big broker Aon generated a net profit of $993 million in 2012, boosted by a strong fourth quarter, which saw total revenues grow 4%, up to $3.1 billion. The organic revenue growth was partly offset by about a 50% dip in investment income, owing to uh, lower average interest rates.
And here's a little bit of a preposterous story from India. Domestic refineries owned by oil companies are suddenly finding themselves in a bind as global reinsurers are refusing to provide cover for refineries that process Iranian crude oil. The reinsurers are ceasing coverage as a result of sanctions imposed by the EU and US. Indian insurance companies usually alone cannot provide insurance cover as they fall under a high risk category and need substantial reinsurance uh, support. According to uh, a commentator in the Indian Financial Times, it dawned on Indian insurers that this fact that the sanctions were in place had not been made clear and that they uh, uncovered this while uh, processing Iranian crude owing to the sanctions clause. It was therefore felt that the General Insurance Council of India should organize a discussion for the insurers to identify the issues involved and attempt to find out possible solutions. Indian insurers can't even think of doing this on their own as replacement of plants are expensive. They need to go into the reinsurance market to hedge their risk, but reinsurers are refusing to give cover to Indian refineries using Iranian oil. Well, I think if they had read the newspapers, they uh, would have uh, gotten that message. Last night, the Super Bowl ended the NFL's season. The Baltimore Ravens defeated the uh, San Francisco 49ers in actually what was a pretty good game. Most interestingly, though, uh, there was a 31-minute power failure shortly after the second half began. The uh, local utility provider Entergy said that it was not their problem. Apparently, some sort of circuit in the Superdome in New Orleans overloaded and the power blew. So for 31 minutes, the uh, teams remained on the field doing stretching exercises while the 76,000 people remained in near darkness. Who says we don't have an infrastructure problem in the United States? That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching and have a good day.